Hello and welcome. Thank you for watching this short video on best practices in school-based anxiety disorder evaluations. My name is Dr. Peter Thompson, a licensed school psychologist and national author. I will be your narrator for this short presentation series. Before we delve into the specific aspects of a school-based evaluation that centers on anxiety disorders, there are two major considerations that teams should be aware of. The first are the legal requirements. The law is clear that school teams must use a variety of methods in their evaluation. Next, a school's evaluation needs to be sufficiently comprehensive but also individually tailored to the student. The next consideration are the scientific and expert foundations. Social emotional issues as well as learning disabilities are actually brain-based issues and may entail a complex evaluation process. Next, school teams are required by best practice to gather data from a variety of sources and not weigh any one source too much. To help ensure that special education teams are in alignment with legal and best practices, professionals are highly encouraged to use the thompson sousa model of assessment, sometimes referred to as the three-factor model. The three-factor model ensures a comprehensive evaluation because it uses a variety of sources and methods, such as formal methods, informal methods, and semi-formal methods. Let's examine the first leg of the assessment triad, known as the formal methods area. Formal methods are typically standardized assessments and tests. Formal methods generally have psychometric scores associated with them, such as standard scores, percentile ranks, and T-scores. They also have strict administration procedures. There are several well-known formal methods one can use in an anxiety disorder evaluation. One of these assessments is called the Behavioral Assessment System for Children, better known as the BAS-3. The BAS-3 is a broadband assessment, meaning that it assesses not only for anxiety, but depression, ADHD, and other social emotional issues as well. There are target assessments one can use. One of these is called the Beck Anxiety Inventory, the Millen Adolescent Clinical Inventory, the Multi-Dimensional Anxiety Scale for Children, and the Revised Children's Manifest Anxiety Scales 2nd Edition. It should be noted that many of the assessments have multiple editions associated with them. The next leg of the assessment triad is the informal data area. Informal data is generally qualitative in nature, but very important for an anxiety disorder evaluation. One source of information is a records review. When examining a student's file, determine if the student has missed school due to anxiety issues. Also look for staff comments and if there's educational impact due to anxiety. Another source of information is observations in the classroom, the lunchroom, and at recess. Finally, the teacher, parent, and student interviews are key to determining if anxiety plays a major role in a student's progress at school. The last leg of the assessment triad is the semi-formal methods area. The semi-formal methods combines the best of formal and informal methods. An example of a semi-formal method is a symptom checklist. Another example are rating scales. Semi-formal methods are effective because they have a semi-structured format which allows for flexibility and follow-up questioning. They also have quantitative and qualitative methods. A good example of a semi-formal method is the NeuroEd Anxiety Rating Scale, which has proven effective in anxiety evaluations. Once a school team has collected formal data, informal information, and semi-formal data, the team should integrate all three sources of information for a comprehensive evaluation, which satisfies best practice as well as legal requirements. 
Because the least well-known area of the three-factor model is the semi-formal methods area, let's take a deeper dive into this area to better understand it. Semi-formal methods are very easy to use, but often neglected in key evaluations. Semi-formal methods, especially rating scales, provides a voice to all stakeholders, providing a 360-degree view of a child's problem. Rating scales and semi-formal methods assures for a comprehensive evaluation, which is required by law. It's also part of best practices. Finally, semi-formal methods are very inexpensive to purchase and to utilize in your evaluation. One of the most effective and quickest inexpensive commercially available semi-formal methods on the market today are the NeuroEd rating scales especially the NeuroEd rating skills for anxiety. For each of our eight easy to use rating scales, there are three versions practitioners can use. These versions are staff, parent, and student versions, which provides a robust 360 degree view of the student and accounts for all perspectives in an evaluation. We have effective and easy to use rating scales related to broad social emotional issues, executive functioning rating scales, an ADHD rating scale, anxiety rating scales, depression assessments, memory, processing speed, and finally, social emotional learning programs. Related specifically to this presentation on an anxiety disorder evaluation, the NeuroEd family of products offers the NeuroEd Anxiety Rating Scale staff version, an anxiety rating scale for the parents, and an anxiety rating scale for the student, which can be delivered as an interview or self-report form. It is critical to remember that all NeuroEd rating scales takes only two to three minutes to complete. It is the quickest and most effective rating scale on the market today. NeuroEd rating scales are extremely easy to use. Simply give at least two or more rating scales to a child's teachers or staff, one rating scale to the parents, and one to the student, which can be given for a child to complete or it can be administered as a semi-structured interview. Rating scales are completed in less than five minutes and then collected. If the majority of the forms illustrate scores of four or five, the problem area is easily identified and adds to your body of evidence. Critical to our mission in service to others, it is important to know that the creators of the NeuroEd family of products are not some big impersonal business or testing company. We are one of you, practitioners working in a public school or private practice. We know what teachers and staff want because we are one of you. To purchase any NeuroEd product, simply go to our website at neuroedtest.com, noted in blue at the lower left-hand side of this slide. Here you will be able to view more information about each rating scale and download the products you want. Again, you only purchase what you need. Thank you, and thanks for supporting our mission to better the lives of the children we serve. If you have any questions, please reach us at our website or go to neuroedtest at gmail.com.